Drama in the Kitchen, brought to you by Tasty Tom. And welcome to another exciting edition. It's a brand new season of Drama in the Kitchen, where we give you non-stop drama because we pair the most unlikely people together. Exes pitted against current girlfriends, in-laws going up against their favorite or not so favorite in-laws, and sometimes friends going up against former friends. Welcome to Drama in the Kitchen. My name is AJ Akwako Sapon. It's an absolute pleasure to be the chef stirring up all the drama. Today is going to be a very interesting one because our guests, our friends who fell out and are looking for an opportunity to rekindle their relationship. Will they find the peace they need here in this kitchen or will the knives turn into weapons? of mass destruction. We'll find out all of that and more right here on the show. Of course, the show is probably brought to you by Tasty Tom Enriched Tomato Mix. Take a little and get so much goodness in all your cooking. And of course, sunlight dishwashing liquid is just the perfect thing to get all your stains in just one wipe. When I come back, we'll be getting into all the drama and of course, meeting our guest for today. Now it's time to get into all that drama. And first and foremost, we get to meet our guest. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Valentine. Hello, my name is Valentine. I'm 26 years of age. And I know Tina for two years, but I haven't known Chloe for too long. So I can say that Tina is a very close friend of mine and um, I can best describe Chloe as just an acquaintance. I've, I haven't known her for too long. So on the show, you can expect peacemaking you can expect a good time you can expect a wonderful meal and we have seen valentine now it's time to meet him ladies and gentlemen our guest who's bringing all the drama today it is valentine How are you doing? Uh, well, economy hard, but how good. Tell you how to do well. Days, <laughs> Welcome to Drama in the Kitchen. Thank you. Thank how you. How are you? Much. So everything is good on your side, but you yeah. brought in two ladies. Mm. They are not your exes. They are not your current, no. but they are your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Explain. Well, so Tina is a very close friend of mine. Okay. Um, we've known ourselves for quite a while, okay. not too long, uh -huh. maybe two years. So we've been close for a while, only to um, realize a few months ago that she had another close friend who was a female. Okay. They were really, really close. They are no longer friends. And mm -hmm. I tried to get to know more, and I found out that something happened that mm. tore them apart. And apparently they've been friends from childhood. So oh. yeah, 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 you know. Wow. The childhood ones are always the best, so I try to bring them back. Amazing. That's why I brought them here. All right, so let's meet Tina. My name is Tina Etonam. I'm 22 years of age. I came here to resolve issues with my ex-best friend, Clo. I've known Clo for some years and Valentine also two years. So that shows how close we are. But there have been some issues and I hope today we will end up resolving every issue and come back as best friends that we used to be. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our friend who's hoping to rekindle her friendship, this is Tina. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so please. <laughs> How are you doing, Tina? Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Drama in the Kitchen. Thank you. So, uh, do tell me about this friendship, which has become a bit of a situationship. Well, Chloe is my best friend. Okay. I'll say childhood friend. Okay. We grew up together. Okay. And there has been some issue 
which till now I don't know about. Mm. I don't know the reason why she's no more talking to me. Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Are you? Yes. That's interesting. And I've been asking her for so many times, and it's like she she still doesn't want to talk to me. Mm. And now it's like I don't care. Okay. Yeah. Are you open for a peacekeeping mission? Well, let's see. <laughs> if if she's not open, then I'm not open. Hey. <laughs> All right. Well, let's find out no, if the other party like. involved is open to possibly mending some drama today in the kitchen. This is Chloe. Hello, my name is Chloe Enimado and I'm 25 years of age. I'm a social promoter and also a journalist. Um, I'm here to talk about my friendship with Tina. Tina is a close friend of mine. We wrote together, share our secrets and everything together. Um, on today's episode, we are going to prepare a delicious meal for you and I hope you will love it. But then we have Valentine. Um, Valentine is someone I know but is not that close to me. Yes, I know him from afar. It's just hello, hi. But we had one or two issues. I wouldn't like to talk about it. But if you want to find out more about my issue with Tina, then join me on the show and find out more about it. Now, allow me welcome Chloe. Chloe with the drama already. That look <laughs> could kill. <laughs> that look could kill. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. Welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay, so um, at this point, we're hoping that we can be able to cook our way through the drama and try and figure out why you've reluctantly been able to tell her what really went wrong. Maybe in the course of the cooking, you'll be able to tell us exactly what happened. And then perhaps we can figure out a way to tell his mend or reroute this friendship through better times. Let's hear about that. <laughs> Let's hear about that. Well, at this point in time, I'll allow you go relax, Valentine. Okay. Thank you for bringing in Don't your, burn up your, the your passengers. <laughs> Don't burn up the kitchen. Uh, we'll, we'll try not to burn it up. <laughs> yeah. Now, as we usually do on the show, both of you have been giving an identical basket. It's a mystery basket. Um, and in there, you're supposed to utilize all the ingredients to make a delicious meal. Um, at the end of it, we will taste and figure out whose meal is the most tantalizing. And of course, the one who will be tasting it will be Valentine. Perhaps I'll even join him and then let's see how that goes. Okay. But uh, we'll be opening this basket and getting into all that and more right after this big apology show is probably brought to you by Tasty Tom, enriched tomato mix and sunlight dish washing soap. A lot more coming up after this. You're welcome back to Drama in the Kitchen. My name is AJ Kwako Sapon, and this show is proudly brought to you by Tasty Tom Tomato Mix, Enriched Tomato Mix. Fakakra Nanya Bibrain, of course. A very big thank you to Sunlight Dish Washing Liquid. All you need to get rid of every stain in just one wipe. A very big thank you as well to First Just My Lovely Hair. But today, it's a very, very interesting and a little chilly in the drama in the kitchen kitchen because we have a very interesting dynamic we have two friends we have the lovely chloe on my left and tina on my right they are two best friends who grew up together and were hoping to be bffs for life but something truncated that promise that we'll be finding out right here in this kitchen because chloe has been tight-lipped about what exactly went wrong but she'll be spilling, hopefully, as the food process goes through. As we usually do it, we have two mystery baskets. Our um, ladies or gentlemen in the kitchen all have an equal basket filled with the exact same things. Then they open the mystery basket and have to utilize everything in the basket to ensure they create a delicious meal for someone probably Valentine, myself, and anybody else, to taste. Now, between the cooking and the tasting, hopefully, we'll find a middle ground and maybe some peace. Now, ladies, if you just draw a little closer to your baskets and give me the pleasure of opening it. <laughs> Please go ahead and open. 
So we see our tasty tom and rich tomato mix. We have some tomatoes, some um, bell peppers, we have some carrots, we have some rice. Um, and onions and everything else inclusive, so I can assume we can do some rice and stew. Rice and stew sounds like a common ground. Rice and stew has been fixing walls since 1982. And today we are hoping it will be able to uh, fix the wall, but you know what, let's make it a little exciting and create some jollof. Jollof has been bringing families together. But ladies, are you ready to cook some jollof? Yes. Okay, alrighty. Tina, are you ready to cook some jollof? I'm ready. Okay, all right. So ladies, at this point in time, I'm going to ask you to don your apron and get ready to slice, dice, and hopefully cut that beef in half and get to some peace. You need to brief out to brief out so that you're not dying. <laughs> <sighs> something you won't tell me like I won't tell you, you but you just keep it out right now madam 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 I haven't madam, told you how madam, did you know it was you that mammary. I can hear you mammary I can hear you <laughs> stop behaving like a kid who That's went who told Kwesi about me taking care of my boyfriend because he has lost his job who told him I don't know you don't know I didn't This place feels a little chilly with the tension going on in here. I swear you can cut it with a knife. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so let's try and get to know you ladies a little bit more as you cook. So I will start it off with yourself. Um, I think I'll, come, I'll start it off with Tina. Okay. Hi, Tina. Hi. So, okay, so you, how long have you been friends with Chloe? Mm. Or how long were you friends with Chloe? Oh, for long. She was my childhood friend. Ah. Yeah. And then you sort of stayed together through it all. Oh yeah, at a point. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then somehow there's been a break. Mm -hmm. But there's... you're not entirely sure why. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can get some answers on this side. I Hello, hope she has. Chloe. Hello, AJ. So tell me a bit about yourself. What do you do? Um, I'm Chloe Nimado. I said previously, and um, I studied journalism in school. Oh, lovely! Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> How long were you friends? You, we were friends with, with with Tina for quite a bit. Yes. Since can, can you even put a year, an amount, amount of years to it? A mm, number. Of years Twenty-five or let me say twenty-four. Wow! Years. Yeah. Amazing. Now, over the last I'll say few months, the two of you have not been friends. She claims she doesn't understand or know why. And <laughs> you are lying. in a position to tell us why exactly. So you think she's lying? Yes. She knows exactly what she, she did. She knows because she actually spilled it here. She spilled it. Okay, so it's about gossip. Gossip. So she gossiped about you. Yes. What exactly about you? She's my friend. Mm. And then I tell her anything that of goes course. on in my life. Yeah. And she knows I'm dating this guy. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when the guy was okay... We all felt it sometimes he would take us out. Okay. You know? The generous guy. The generous uh -huh. guy. He loses his job. Mm -hmm. And he's been good to me, so I can just let him go. Okay. I have to also try so my best. Up. Okay. So, as a friend, I came to complain to you about the financial issue. I was like, oh. You don't have, but you feel the need to. Avoid. Yeah, currently, I'm not that good Boyant. in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. So, I was even telling you how now. I'm the one fending for everything. And oh, then wow. we are two because he's not having anything. He's been in my place for a while. You know how so guys... He's staying with you. Yes. Okay. You know how okay. men are. Yeah. When they're a little bit broke, they don't want anyone seen. Because okay. they also have family responsibilities and yeah. the rest. So I told you about it. And then I think we were cool and then all that. 
A month later, I go and hear it out somewhere. And it's not like I heard it from someone else. My boyfriend comes to confront me. That he's heard that you are out there saying that he's broke or too broke to take care of you. And he's a burden on me. Oh, wow. And I don't think any lady out there will find this, like, happy or, like, sorry, will find this and be happy with whoever she told. No. Absolutely. You definitely get angry. Even if it's a personal friendship and maybe I've given you something and then you go and hear somewhere that I said I gave you blah, blah, blah. Mm. I don't think she would be happy with it. Mm. Mm. And I wouldn't want to keep someone like that in my circle. So did, did that, let, that, that led to the breakup between you and your boyfriend? Yes. He we felt, are no more. Oh, wow. All based on that? Yeah. He decided that he doesn't he want to... He feels like anything that happens between us, I go out to tell people. Ah. Tina, yeah. do you remember this conversation that was had? Yeah, I remember. Okay. Second question. Did you, at any point in time, tell another person about this conversation that was had? So let, let me explain how it happened here. Please. So everyone knows in the area she's my friend. Mm -hmm. So when she told me about her issue, mm -hmm. and the fact that you're my best friend doesn't mean I don't have other friends in the area. Okay. Yes. Mm. And they also know that you are my best friend. Okay. So if they see something about you, they come to ask, oh, why this? Uh -huh. Then I explain that, oh, nothing. And you open your mouth and you tell them. Okay. Madam, <laughs> Madam, relax. Madam, relax. People in the area know that, okay, your boyfriend doesn't go to work. When he goes to work, people see him that, okay, he's going to work. But now at a point in time, people realize that he doesn't go to work. So they asked, ah, why? Is Chloe's boyfriend not working? working and I'm like, oh, he has some issues, okay. but I believe he will bounce back. Okay. So there's, like, there's no problem or speaker. anything. Okay. Because this is someone I also trusted. It's not like it's someone that wasn't my friend mm. that I told. Mm. This is someone who was my friend also. So you told this third person. Yes. Who's your friend in the neighborhood. Yes. About Chloe's boyfriend having a small issue. Yes. And not having an <laughs> actual job. Yes. But that was not your, your gist to say in the first place. That wasn't my gist. But that friend, that person was my friend. Okay. So I was also trusted that yeah, person. I trusted that person. Not so I cannot it. keep a friend yes. who has a friend. Not to say oh, it. Okay. And I don't see the reason why Chloe is angry because one, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe what I said, you didn't Coach. like it, okay. yeah? Confront me, okay. Sina, why did you say this? Mm. So that I also know that, oh, okay, I'm at fault. Then I'll apologize, but you didn't. Mm. And when I try coming close, like, why, what's wrong? Why are you avoiding me? You're not saying anything. So I also decided to back off. So I don't see the reason why he's, she's behaving as if I knew what I did and I didn't want to apologize. But you could have suspected that maybe something you said, especially since you, you had, did you hear about that breakup by any chance? I had it. <laughs> and as a friend, mm -hmm. former friend mm -hmm. perhaps, mm -hmm. you didn't find it wise to reach out to your former best so? friend. So? To even let her feel that, oh, I, I'm with you in that difficult period. So when I had um, the boyfriend broke up with her, I really wanted to go there. Mm. But that period, she wasn't talking to me. You were the one at fault. Yes. Because she told you something in confidence mm -hmm. that as my best friend, mm -hmm. I want you to be the only one who knows it because I'm going through a hard time. Mm -hmm. And I, it's not that I'm asking you for help. I'm just, I just need an outlet to vent. Okay. And instead of you being the safe space she thought you were, mm -hmm. You ended up being the mouthpiece <laughs> that made the neighborhood find out about the gist. Okay. And instead of any sort of remorse, mm -hmm. you feel nothing mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I don't feel anything, to be honest. Because one, uh -huh. one, one, uh -huh. I've agreed to the fact that I said something you didn't like. Okay. It's not like I'm not agreeing. No. Mm. I've agreed mm. that, okay, I said something you didn't like. So then you but the manner at which she was approaching me with mm. made me feel, like, I felt like, ah, so this was the issue. Mm. You could have told me this, <laughs> oh, Tina, this sense. and this. But the way she was behaving, I see. She, you had done something so wrong. She, but you, is this not so You don't wrong? consider telling your best friend's business outside the worst <laughs> thing to say? She should act like her age. 
Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Are you perhaps willing to make amends today? For now, uh -huh. at this point, yeah. this minute, no. Wow. Maybe the next hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see how <laughs> the process of cooking might be able to bring out a bit more forgiving uh, juices out of both of you. But I'm going to leave you to, to do a bit more cooking because we're doing some special jollof with our Tasty Tom mm -hmm. and Rich Tomato mix. Chicken is chicken in. I'm seeing the veggies. The jollof is looking really good, at least from where it smells good from where I am. And I'm sure we give it a few minutes to simmer down and then we'll be ready to plate, yes? But how's it going? So how's the cooking process been? Um, let, let, I'm not sure who to start with. Chloe or Tina? Okay, Tina. Uh, do tell. How's it been, at least cooking alongside Chloe? Well, it was horrible. Eh? Because I don't like her. Oh, hey, Tina, you too, your blood is hot. Oh, Relax. Yes. Okay, wait. You, you, you don't like her. I don't like her. I don't like the way she behaves. You don't like how she's behaving? Mm -hmm. Do you not think that she's justified in the way she's behaving? No. At no point in time? Well, at a point, she's right here. Okay. But the way you Actually, prove how right you are, uh -huh. her approach was wrong. Okay. Yeah, so... And what approach would have been right? Confront me. Uh -huh. Ask me, Tina, oh, um, why did I hear such, such a thing outside? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Then I'll also explain my part. And then if I am made to apologize, I will, mm. because I am wrong. <laughs> oh, God. OK. Now, let, let, let me come to Chloe here. Over the course of the last few minutes as the cooking process has been going on, now she says she didn't appreciate your reaction and not being upfront after years of friendship and just sort of confronting her, but rather just ghosting her. And she didn't appreciate that part. Do you feel that you could have done or been, changed your approach and how you dealt with it initially when you heard it? I feel like when you've done something wrong to mm -hmm. someone, you know you've done wrong. Mm -hmm. You apologize. You don't okay. justify it. Yeah. And that's what she's getting wrong here. Yeah. Her justification of what she said is what is even taking you Yes, off just, just say, yes, Chloe, I have wronged you. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And I've been friends with you, like, my whole life. Mm -hmm. Why won't I understand? This is a rumor. The guy is gone. Probably maybe what you're saying is true. He didn't like me, so mm. he would have, he just left Use me over. Use any opportunity to walk out, yeah. Okay, so you as a friend, what are you doing? Mm. You can't just stand there and say, I didn't approach you. No, it's a lame excuse. Mm. If you really valued our friendship, at least you'll find an opportunity to ask for forgiveness. Mm. She's just making excuses. AJ, yeah. she's not saying the truth. She's not. She's not. Mm. Because if I've wronged you, mm. why is, is this sensible in a way that when I go and say something about you, all of a sudden, I will not be talking to you. Mm. That means that you are showing me an attitude which is giving me the permission to withdraw myself. First of all, you should have told me that, yeah. Tina, this is what I heard. Mm. Is that true? So that's true Then now. if I'm being stubborn not to apologize, then you can take your stand. But this is the point. You never told me this is what you did. Yeah. Yeah. And you are giving me attitude and you are expecting me to come more. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Well, let me bring in the common denominator, which is uh, Valentine. So Valentine is your very close friend, mm -hmm. Tina. 
um, and as well your acquaintance. So how about we try and lighten up the mood a little and do a little bit of a guessing game about how well you know Valentine. Sounds good? Good. Okay. All right. So let's get into how well do you know Valentine. I'll start it off with this question to both of you. If you could guess what Valentine's favorite color is, what will it be? Tina? Black. Okay. Chloe? Guess. Red. My favorite color is black. Red? Well, Valentine said black. Um, his favorite food, if you had to pick Valentine's favorite meal, what will it be? Chloe? Jollof. Jollof. <laughs> okay, Tina? Mm. Hmm. Either banku or fufu. Either banku or fufu. Well, my favorite food is fufu with granite soup and a little bit of pork, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of salmon here and there. Yeah. You may have gotten one of them right because he said fufu. Yeah. In fact, he was very specific. Fufu and granite soup. Well, He's not my best friend. So. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's now your. Hey, yeah. Tina, you like. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we'll come back to that. If he could pick a favorite family member, who do you think you pick? Chloe? Valentine could pick a favorite family member. Who do you think you pick? Well, mother. Chloe doesn't care about my friends. Mother. So. Okay, you say mother. His grandmom. Oh. Wow, my favorite family member. I would say my grandma. Yes, my grandma. You're right. It is his grandma. His grandma is his favorite person. Or favorite family member specifically. And finally, since you are the new bestie, you would know his favorite hangout spot. A favorite place he can hang out. A place is his comfort space. If he could ever run away from work or whatever, where he would go to. I want to prove to you that I value friendships. Okay. So, uh -huh. if I become your friend, mm -hmm. I'll make sure I know everything about you. Okay. He likes the stadium. My favorite hangout place, um, I would say a football stadium. I love football a lot, so... You're actually right. He does like the football stadium. Okay. That should tell you. Okay. I'm not a bad friend. Uh -huh. I'm not a bad person. You are not. So Friendship someone who doesn't is not like about me, knowing something or someone. If you don't like me, I don't like you too. Now, There's that, more now, to it. Let's, let's uh -huh. test it out a bit. I'm even afraid to even go on with even more questions. But let's see if our jollof is almost done. We'll be getting into the, uh, very shortly getting into the serving and the dishing out of our jollof. And we'll be doing a bit of the tasting to figure out whose meal, when giving the blind taste test, will really be the most incredible. But most importantly, I'd like us to get to a point of resolution to an, to an extent. Maybe figure out how well we can try and mend the bridge and maybe proceed as friends once again. We're going to go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll be going into the dishing and perhaps the peaceful part of reconciliation. To the hottest, most exciting reality show on television with all the drama. This is Drama in the Kitchen. It's been a very interesting one having on my left Chloe and on my right Tina, friends who had a falling out based on Tina allegedly putting out a rumor that led to Chloe's relationship crashing and burning. Now, it's gone or sort of developed into a, a, a mediation, hoping that by the end of it, perhaps they may have, in the course of cooking, found some common ground to start or restart their relationship, or at least mend that bridge and get to a point where we can maybe be friends again. We'll be getting into the tasting of it shortly. So their friend who sort of orchestrated this whole peace treaty is Valentine. He will be doing the tasting of the two meals to determine whose meal is absolutely on fire. Then we will hope that we can try to make at least some semblance of peace reign in the kitchen today. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me call on the one and only Valentine. Okay, 
Welcome, Valentine. Um, thank you. Uh, How has been the period of isolation? Mm, a bit boring. <laughs> yeah. well, a, lot, a lot of, a lot of fireworks have been going on while you've been resting, I would say. Um, because we managed to get the food done, but not without some interesting back and forth between the two. And perhaps when we're done tasting, we can see if we can find a common ground and maybe some peace. Okay. Yes? Awesome. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take over the tasting. So I'm going to serve you two different plates. Okay. And physically serve you the plates. Um, um, and then you will make a decision based on the taste, ranking them from 1 to 10. 10 being the best meal you've ever tasted. 1 being not so best. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yep. All right, so I'm going to bring the plates closer to you. And then serve you a very delicious meal of jollof, which was what both of our people did. And then you will be the judge of both meals and then tell me exactly which meal you think is the absolute best. Mm. So I shall start with meal number one. Okay. I would get try and dish in a bit of chicken. Ooh, I love chicken. Aha, well, you're Ooh. definitely going to enjoy it. Um, some sauce. So each person had their own unique twist on the sauce. So you're going to have to open up. It's going to be a large bite. Uh. Okay. So we'll give you a little bit more. So second bites are always a charm. Mm. Okay. Um, add a bit more chicken to it, since you love chicken. There you go. So between one to ten, mm. think of a number that best represents this meal. Then I shall serve you the second one after getting some water to cleanse your palate. So, for your second bite from your second plate. So, open up. Okay. okay. Now, we're going to our second meal. And I shall add some protein to it some of their sauce they created to complement it and then serve you a nice bite okay open up it's a big one okay so this is meal number two um i shall add another bite if you prefer mm. So you can truly savor the meal and its extra condiments. So, shall I serve you the second bite? Yep. Okay. Please open up. Aha, it's also a big bite. Aha, there we go. So also keep a number in mind, not forgetting the first number you put in your mind for the first meal. <laughs> Keeping in mind another number for the second meal. Once you're done, I would ask you the number okay. and hope for you to tell me. Would you want some water to cleanse your palate? Yeah, I'm, think I'm okay. Okay, all right. So, Valentine, mm -hmm. with meal number one, between a scale of one to ten, what number will you give it? Uh, I'll give it a seven. A seven. Why? Yeah. Um, so, well, the chicken did the trick a bit. Okay. I'm a bit biased. Okay. And um, the jello wasn't too hard. It wasn't too soft. Okay. It had a good amount of pepper. Mm-hmm. A good amount of seasoning okay. here and there. It wasn't too salty. Okay. It was okay. Just basically uh, quite well balanced. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Now for meal number two, mm. between one and ten, what number will you give it? I'll give it a six. You give it a six? Yes. So why will you give meal number two a six? Yeah, so, well, it's, it wasn't too bad, obviously. Mm. It's just right behind the first one okay. in terms of the taste. Okay. Um, it wasn't too far off in okay. terms of the taste, but with the, um, the texture, mm. it was a bit hard, a okay. bit, just a little bit just hard. A little. Okay. If it was the only one I tasted, I'll probably give it an eight. Okay. But, because you had comparatively, tasted, yes, yes, comparatively, I'll yeah. give it a six, right okay. behind the first okay. one. Who do you think is plate number one, and who do you think is plate number two? Okay, so I would say Tina's plate is number one, mm -hmm. and Chloe's is number two. Okay, all right. Well, I will take off the blindfold now, <laughs> and I'll show you both meals, and I'll ask you to identify or which one you think belongs to number one, and which one you think belongs to number two. So these are the two plates. Who do you think is plate number one and who do you think is plate number two? I'll oh, say so this is plate number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's plate number two. Well, you had it wrong. This is plate number one and this is plate number two. <laughs> and the owner of plate number one, please raise your hand. And it is the one and only hey. Chloe. <laughs> So Chloe is our winner with seven marks out of ten and beating Tina with her six. Hey, DJ. <laughs> you don't know, you know what you don't want to, but no, you it's your taste buds that started this one. Is it so what would you like to tell Tina now that you didn't crown her? The winner. If you say it that way, it's no, but it's, it's your taste buds. It's not me. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't influence. <laughs> I'm not the one that tasted. You can't put it on me. It is all no, but you. If you say it that way, that crown. No, no, but you did. Now you tasted the meal and you said it is hair. I think they should make peace. That's why we came here. <laughs> <laughs> but Tina, how do you feel not winning? Did you expect to win? Oh yeah. And now that he didn't crown you the winner, how do you feel? I think I'll have an issue with him. Oh, you will. Yeah. Why, you thought you should have known your handwriting? Yeah. From the get-go? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> but now, let me come to the winner. Chloe, how does it feel like being the queen of drama in the kitchen? It Today? feels good. It feels good, huh? Yeah, I didn't expect it. You didn't? Yeah. Oh, you really thought that he would pick her? Yeah, because looking at the texture of the rice, mm, mm, mine mm. didn't get to get soaked up. Yeah. So I was thinking she might have uh -huh. taken it. Ah, but then you ended up walking away with it. Yeah. Being on the taste alone. Now, on that point, Valentine, after you've done your deed of crowning one, I think at this point, it's only right that we bring both of you to the crossroads of picking to go on as friends or perhaps permanently severing your relationship. Both of you have been friends for years. You've clearly known each other through the thick and the thin. Um, and in my opinion, something as, well, not trivial, but something like gossip shouldn't come in the way of two friends, regardless of who said what or how the repercussions came about. Um, perhaps if a man really, really wanted to stay, it's not something he's heard from outside that would lead him to go. So on that case, I, I, I really don't feel like he was even meant to be there in the first place if he could walk away because of gossip. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. However, Tina, you haven't really tried to. You were initially a little bit hesitant, I would say, to show any kind of remorse. But looking back at it, do you think you owe Chloe here an apology? I think we both owe ourselves apologies. Are you willing to start it since you technically began it all? I didn't begin anything at the first place. Had you not said what you said, I it would said not it. have turned into anything. Or had you kept what she said to you in confidence, it wouldn't have led to a ripple effect. So we start off the motion of, of reconciliation by apologizing first. Apologize. From the heart. <laughs> <laughs> that look would kill. <laughs> yeah. 
Chloe, if you can please come a little closer, and if Tina, you two can come a little closer. We, we will scurry to the side and leave you two to <laughs> do the Lord's work. So Tina, if you can come a little closer and look at your friend of close to 24 years and do the needful. Chloe, I just want to say I'm sorry for, for everything. Maybe I did something you didn't like or said something you didn't like. I just want you to forgive me and move on. Okay. Chloe, Tina has apologized in her own way. I don't think she meant it. You don't think she meant it? Yes. So, Tina, for the final time, if you can, say it like you mean it. Chloe, I'm very sorry for everything and having confidence in me and letting you down. I just want to say I'm, I'm very sorry. Oh, I, I accept your apology. And Chloe, would you like to tell her anything? Maybe how you reacted, how you didn't confront her when you could have? Um, Tina, I'm as well sorry for not confronting you and then harboring all this pain, all this well. And I just wanted you to say sorry and then just admit it. And you have, so I forgive you. Okay, now can we get a hug, girls? Let's hug it out. You know we want to. Let's hug it out, girls. Come closer. Come closer. Bridge the gap. Bridge the gap. Get closer, Tina. <laughs> and hug it out. Aww. I know. High five out of time. We did it. I think we did. I think we did. So I think it's the beginning of something. At least we've hugged it out, we've apologized to each other, and perhaps. But they should smile a bit. Ah, why? I'm smiling. <laughs> hey, smile. Okay, so we're going to award our lovely, lovely, lovely Chloe for your incredible Jollof um, ba Valentine <laughs> crown as the best Jollof with seven points out of 10. From tasty tom and rich tomato mix, we're saying go on and cook even more jollof and spread peace all across Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, AJ. <laughs> all right, and thank you both, ladies, for cooking it out, hugging it out, and hopefully mending what will be a lovely relationship moving forward. Yes, we can, we can hope for that, yes, Tina? Let's yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, I think. Chloe, we're, 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 we're going to see you guys back together. Oh, I just needed an apology. Yeah, and, okay. then, and then you now have it. Okay, all right. I love to see it. So um, thank you, Valentine, for bringing these lovely ladies here. Hopefully, yeah, welcome. We'll, we'll be hearing some updates that peace yeah, is yeah, going yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least you ensure it. As, our, as our resident peacekeeper. Yeah. We love it. We'll be sending you on more missions. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been a wonderful edition of Drama in the Kitchen. Yes, not only are exes and in-laws and everyone else being pitted against each other, sometimes we bring some peace in the kitchen. And that's exactly what we did today on the show. My name is AJ Akwako Stop. And a very big thank you to Tasty Tom Enriched Tomato Mix. Pakakra nanya fibre when it comes to your cooking. A little gives you so much value. And of course, a very big thank you to Sunlight Dishwashing Liquid. All you have to do to clear all stains in one wipe, that is Sunlight. Um, a very big thank you again to First Choice for my lovely hair and to you for staying tuned to another exciting edition of Drama in the Kitchen. Join us next week for another exciting edition. And of course, until we come your way again, keep the conversation going with the hashtag drama in the kitchen and tweet at me at AJ Safon. Until I come bringing more drama your way, keep watching TV.
Water 